What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you the Skyfire browser for the iPad. It was just released. I did a video actually a couple days ago on the iPhone version of this. It's a browser uh, where you can actually play Flash videos uh, in the browser. So it, it, converts the HTML it converts the Flash videos over to HTML5 so you can play them on your iPad, uh, iPhone, or iPod Touch. I'll link you to both iPad and iPhone versions below the video in the description, so check that out if you want to. Uh, they're both like four or five bucks. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you. This one actually has a lot more features uh, than the iPhone version. So uh, let's go to the home page here and uh, you'll see what it looks like. So basically here is a lot of the featured sites that they have. You can watch uh, South Park, uh, The Daily Show, Colbert Report, and tons of other stuff. NASCAR. Who would want to watch that? Anyways, uh, you, ba you got a ton of features here and they added some new ones in the iPad version where like you can share it and uh, connect with your friends. You can connect with uh, Facebook. Uh, and share everything and you can actually see here what all of your friends are posting you can see your Twitter uh, you can see your uh, fireplace is what they call it. this is where you can actually watch all the videos from your Facebook uh, and you can just tap on those and play them and then we also got the popular feature which uh, will show you some popular uh, links that everybody's clicking on from the website that you are on uh, we've got reader where you can hook it up to your Google reader account and then like where you can like it on Facebook and then of course you got to share uh, where you can share it on tons of different social networks like Facebook, Twitter, email, Delicious, Google Reader, Read It Later, Instapaper and Pinboard. So uh, that's some new features they added in the iPad version. Uh, you of course got all the settings of the iPhone version of the app. Uh, you got your home button, you've got multiple tabs uh, which is actually pretty fast switching also as you see it loaded up pretty quickly there. Um, and yeah, and now this button over here I skipped over. Uh, if you don't have, if you haven't seen this iPhone version, this is a really good app. Uh, I thought I'd show you this for the iPad because it's definitely going to come in handy. I actually showed you how to watch it on the iPad, uh, but this one is definitely makes the videos uh, look a lot better because you don't have to blow the app up to two times the size. So uh, you got your bookmarks. You can add new bookmarks from the app. Uh, it's really good. I, I I replaced the iPhone version with my Safari browser. Um, but I found that I switch back to the Safari a lot because just little simple tasks that you can't do in Skyfire because it's not the native browser. Uh, so I found myself switching back. But this is definitely something you should check out uh, if you like watching movies and TV shows on your iPad. Now we got the settings. There's tons of settings in this thing. And I really like that it's in the app. You can do load as page where you can load the desktop version or the iPad version. Uh, so you can switch that and make it do it automatically in the app. You've got private browsing uh, for those people that like to go to those dirty sites, you know. You got more settings. Uh, you, got, you can set your start page or your home page. I, I like to keep it on Skyfire because it has like the quick links to all this stuff here. Um, you've got clear history, cookies, cache. Uh, you can log out of your sharing sites. You can turn off auto sharing, uh, log out of Facebook, and then basically some other stuff, frequently asked questions or anything like that. Now let's go ahead and show you a video playing on this. I'm going to go ahead and play uh, South Park. Uh, so I'm not going to play much of it for you because I don't want to have to get the video taken out for copyright violations but uh we'll check it out okay now here's the page where the video plays and you see right here it's loading let's just go ahead and tap video analyzing and there we go video found and it is uh, ready in about 20 seconds so we'll come back one, once it's uh, ready okay so now the video is ready to play I'm just gonna go ahead and tap play on now the good thing about this is like uh, websites that play advertisements before the video you can actually watch those so it, it doesn't affect it and it'll actually play the ad before it Okay, it's actually like really small right now. I do have it in. Okay, so let's let's turn it sideways and see how that looks. I've got to turn off the uh, rotation. Let's turn it sideways, and uh, you see it fills up pretty much the whole screen. We do have the bars down here at the top. I'm gonna hit play, and it looks nice. The quality is actually really good. It's kind of laggy right now. I'm not on the best internet connection. I'm actually using Comcast, but it's kind of slow. I'm in New Jersey right now, so that's why the lack of videos here recently. But uh, I'll be back after Christmas, so you guys can expect more videos. Uh, so you see it's playing South Park Christmas. The audio does work, but I think I have the volume turned all the way down here. Never mind, I had it on mute. <laughs> so let's hit play. Okay, it's a little bit pixelated, but actually I noticed that when I was using the iPhone version, it looked a little better. But I think this is due to the uh, the internet connection. So you can check it out if you want to. Tons of websites this work with. Uh, and if you go to the home page on Skyfire, uh, it definitely has a, a gigantic list of uh, shows you probably like to watch that you can watch from your iPad. Now this browser doesn't just uh, watch videos and everything. It's also a regular browser. 
you got your uh, search bar and you got your Google search bar built in. So it's, it's a regular web browser. You can do everything on it. Uh, it's pretty fast uh, tab switching and everything. And I see, it seems to load up pretty quick and it's kind of snappy. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, check this out if you'd like to. Again, the link is in the description below the video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching and peace out.